In this lesson, we will use the free online graphing calculator linked below to graph integrand functions and evaluate definite integrals. We will begin by evaluating the definite integrals on the left, where the integrand function is f of x equals negative one-tenth x squared plus eight. Let's go to the graphing calculator and enter the integrand function. Let's first clear the existing functions. Under f of x, we enter negative one-tenth x squared plus eight. Remember the character exponent key is shift six from the keyboard. And now we click plot graph. Notice how we don't see the graph on the coordinate plane because we need to adjust the window. And we do need to adjust the window because in order to evaluate a definite integral, we use the calculation menu under the graphing calculator, not the calculation window below. To adjust the window, let's click the minus at the bottom right hand corner to zoom out. Notice now we do see the graph of the function. So we could stop here, but since the limits of integration are always greater than or equal to zero, let's adjust the window manually by clicking on the window tab. And let's change the x min to negative two, the x max to 10, the y min to negative two, and the y max to 10. And now we have a better view of our graph for our def integrals. So let's evaluate the first def integral where the limits of integration are from zero to seven, we click the calculation tab, click the drop down menu and select integral. Next, click on the curve, enter the limits of integration, which are from zero to seven, click calculate. The def integral is approximately 44.5667. Because the function is non-negative over the interval from zero to seven, this value does represent the area bounded by the function on the x-axis over this interval. The second integral has a lower limit of integration of square root three. We go back, change the zero to square root three, SQRT with a three in parentheses. The upper limit of integration is two square root seven. Click calculate. The value of the def integral is approximately 23.7101. And again, the function is non-negative over this interval, and therefore this does represent the area bounded by the function over this interval. Let's go ahead and record these values. And now let's evaluate the second definite integrals, where the integrand function is three sine x. For the first integral, the limits of integration are from zero to pi, and for the second, the limits are from zero to two pi. So going back to the calculator, one thing I did notice is to evaluate another integral we either need to refresh the calculator and start over or click a different function under the mode and then come back and select integral. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh the calculator by clicking the refresh button on the browser. Clear out the functions, enter the new function of three sine x under f of x, click plot graph. The graph does not show the x interval from zero to two pi, so let's go ahead and which is approximately from zero to 6.28. So let's adjust the window manually by clicking window and let's change the x min to let's say negative one and the x max to seven and click update. And now let's evaluate the def integral from zero to pi, click calculate, click the drop down menu, select integral, click on the curve, enter the limits of integration from zero to pi Enter pi for pi and click calculate. The interval from zero to pi is this interval here from zero to approximately 3.14 where the function is non-negative and therefore the area below the function and above the x-axis over this interval is exactly equal to six square units. For the last integral, the limits of integration are from zero to two pi, so we change pi to two pi and click calculate. Notice this integral is equal to zero and that's because we can think of the value of the def integral as signed area, where if the area is above the x-axis is positive, if the area is below the x-axis it's negative. So the interval from zero to two pi is approximately from zero to 6.28 from this point on the left to this point on the right. The area above the x-axis is positive, the area below the x-axis is negative, and because the two areas are the same but opposite sign, the sum is equal to zero, which is why the value of the def integral is zero. Let's go ahead and record these values of the def integrals. I hope you found this helpful.